Hey brothers and sisters, today is October 20th, 2023. A few things to share with you. So yesterday, I saw and heard the word I'm mom, I-M-A-M, and I wasn't sure what it meant, so I did some research, and this is what I found. This is from articles from 2020. The 12th Imam, the, the Mahdi in Iran today. Iran is a fervently Shiite Islamic Republic with a 98% Muslim population and 89% of those Muslims, Muslims identifying as Shiite, according to the CIA World Factbook. Twelver Shiism is the largest branch of Shiite Islam with about 85% of Shiite adhering to the belief in the 12th Imam. <clears throat> now, what does this mean? They believe that a series of Imams was appointed to carry on the Prophet Muhammad's message and that these Imam rank above all other prophets except for Muhammad himself. The 12th Muhammad Al-Mahdi is believed by these Shiites to have been born in present-day Iraq in 869 and never to have died, only gone into hiding. Twelvers, not other Shiites or Sunni Muslims, believe that Al-Mahdi will return as a Messiah with Jesus to bring peace to the world and establish Islam as the ruling faith across the globe. <sighs> The apocalyptic catch, the Mahdi is expected to appear when the world is racked by utter chaos and war. Many Sunnis also believe that the Mahdi will come in such a judgment day scenario, but believe that he has not been born yet. The Twelver beliefs have raised concern in conjunction with Iran's steep interest in furiously pressing forward with its nuclear program. Combined with threats against Israel and the West, critics of the Islamic Republic allege that this person, I don't think, is no longer the supreme leader, would even go so far as to hasten a nuclear showdown and cataclysmic strike. And remember, I've recently reshared how years ago I had a vision of seeing the Iranian president at the time, um, Hassan Rouhani. He was all dressed in black with a black turban on his head, and there was this big table in front of him. And there was this big, long black sheet covering something. And then he had a sneaky smile on his face. And he pulled this big black sheet off of what I believe is a nuke. But right before that, I had a vision of seeing Jesus. And he was standing next to me, but he was like in a shadow. And he had his hands open to his sides like he was about to receive something to himself. And I knew in the spirit that represented us, those, those in Christ. So I personally believe that when something like that is about to happen, that's when the rapture is going to happen. And I also believe that the Lord is no way going to let Iran nuke Israel. So he's going to have to intervene at that point. So... The Islamic Republic, wait a minute, lost my place here. Iran's steep interest in furiously pressing forward with its nuclear program combined with threats against Israel and the West. Critics of the Islamic Republic allege that this person and the Supreme Leader would even go so far as to hasten a nuclear showdown and cataclysmic strike. You know, like a preemptive strike which the Lord has told me twice, perhaps an attack on Israel and inevitable retaliation to hasten the arrival of the 12th Imam. And I'm sure most of you guys know that Iran raised that black flag. And a lot of people are saying, oh, they only do that. They're just mourning. It's a sign for them mourning, but they don't. They only do that during the month of July and August. So this is the first time they've done it at this particular time. So they're not mourning. Okay. 
perhaps an attack on Israel and inevitable retaliation to hasten the arrival of the 12th Imam. And this person has even called for the reappearance of the 12th Imam from the podium of the United Nations General Assembly. During his speech, speeches with Iran, this person has said that the main mission of the Islamic Revolution is to pave the way for the reappearance of the 12th Imam. And this person who is from NBC News, who was interviewing this person back in September of 2009, she was asking him about this Mahdi. And she said to him, in your speeches, you pray for God to hasten the arrival of the hidden Imam, the Muslim Messiah. Would you tell us, as you know, as I know, you will speak about this at the General Assembly as well. What is your relationship with the hidden Imam, and how soon do you think before the second coming? And he said, yes, that's true. I prayed for the arrival of the 12th Imam, the owner of the age, as we call him. Because the owner of the age is the symbol of the justice and brotherly love <laughs> prevailing around the world, when the imam arrives, all of these problems will be resolved. And a player, I, I'm sorry, and a prayer for the owner of the age is nothing but a wish for justice and brotherly love to prevail around the world. And it's an obligation a person takes upon himself to always think about brotherly love and also to treat others as equals. <laughs> All people can establish such a connection with the imam of the age. It's roughly the same as the relationship which, which exists between Christians and the Christ. They speak with Jesus Christ, and they are sure that Christ hears them and responds. Therefore, this is not limited to us only. Any person can talk with the imam. And then this reporter said, You've said that you believe that his arrival, the apocalypse, would happen in your own lifetime. What do you believe that you should do to hasten his arrival? And he said, I have never said such a thing. And she said, ah, forgive me. He said, I was talking about peace. And he went on to say, what is being said about an apocalyptic war and global war, things of that nature, this is what the Zionists are claiming. Imam will come with logic, with culture, with science. He will come so that there is no more war, no more enmity, hatred, no more conflict. He will call on everyone to enter a brotherly love. Of course, he will return with Jesus Christ. The two will come back together, and working together, they, will, they would fill this world with love. Stories that have been disseminated around the world about extensive war, apocalyptic wars, so on and so forth, these are false. So, we know how this story ends, and we know that this is not true, but... At the same time, it is true, but he's not going to be coming back with Jesus Christ. This is going to be the false Messiah, the Antichrist. And I believe that the Lord is saying that's what they're seriously trying to make happen with haste right now. So I think we're that close to that happening. Okay. Only, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then that son of perdition shall be revealed. Okay? So the church has to be removed first. So if, if the Lord is telling me this right now, I, I think we're literally moments away from the rapture of the church. Literally. And I believe that black sheet that Hassan Rouhani from the president of Iran at the time pulled off that nuke. I think it's somehow connected to the Iran raising that black flag. Okay. There's also the grand imam of Saudi Arabia, who, by the way, went to Abu Dhabi, the word he gave me the other day. Met with Pope Francis, where they have that Chrislam building to unite all religions. And we know that um, Blinken just went there a few days ago after the Lord told me Abu Dhabi. So 
we can see the whole world is trying to join together to bring this about really, really quickly. And then last night, when I was on asleep, I had a vision of my grandmother. And I just saw her smiling at me. And she's the dead in Christ. So I, I literally think the rapture is about to happen any moment now, you guys. So don't have any fear. I, I, the Lord just wants us to know how close we are and what the, what the enemy is doing. And, and we could see all these violent protests everywhere going all around all over the world in support of this stuff. It's, it's sickening, you know. But we're children of the light, not of the darkness. Therefore, that day will not approach us as a thief. But it's like a whole bunch of children of darkness are being revealed at this moment. A whole lot of them. We're so close, you guys. If you haven't believed on Jesus as your Savior, please do it now. It's not about you saving yourself or keeping yourself saved. It's very simple. Just believe in the one whom God sent, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. He is the only way to heaven. He died in your place for the remission of all of your sins. He was buried and rose again on the third day for your justification. The debt was paid in full. He is the one that keeps us. We will all fall short every day. But he is the one that keeps us spotless. Disbelief. We can have peace with God. When we truly believe, we can have peace with God. When you're trying to earn your salvation or keep your salvation yourself, you never have peace with God. You never will. All right, you guys, just wanted to share all this with you. Love you. Hold fast.